So guys, in today's world, we have the lawful side and we have the legal side, right? But people don't know how to distinguish one from another. So I'll make it really simple, right? As my perspective and my understanding of it. So we have lawful on one side and legal on one side. Now this lawfulness thing has pertains to the living world. The legal side pertains to the dead world. Now just, just hold on, just give me a while, right? Make I explain. So the lawful side deals with the living world and it communicates in the common language or with the common language, right? The legal side deals with the dead world and communicates in the language called legalese, right? So let's look up the definition of legalese using a law dictionary, okay? Legalese. The peculiar language of lawyers the speech and writing of lawyers at their communicative worst, characterized by antique jargon, pomposity, affected displays of precision, ponderous abstractions, and hocus-pocus incantation. Hocus-pocus, right? Well, again, when you dealing with legalese in the dead world, you are here uh, that you're being summoned. You know, so summoning pertains to the dead world. In the common language, you don't really use, you don't summon the living. So this pertains more to man and woman or as a people. Man and woman are under the law and in the lawful side. But under the legal system, the dead world, we have something else. Something that you cannot really be born as. You have to become it. It is fiction. So it's a person or a citizen or an officer, or a employee, and just titles. Now, what is the, what exactly is the law right here? So it's basically do no harm. And we're in the common law. But, on the legal side, for persons, citizens, taxpayers, store owners, and so on and so forth, all these different titles, we have statutes, codes, acts, legislation, bylaws, ordinance, citations. These are colors of law. They kind of look like law. But they only become law if man and woman consents to being the dead person, the dead citizen, the legal entity. Right? So, in this world, it's non-fiction. This is real world. This is fiction. This is the dead world. So, using language, right, what has happened is that we're now in a time where man, a woman, is finding it hard to distinguish one world from another. And is consenting to this, feeling that these are laws, when in reality, this is a fake world. This deals with corporations or corpse. This one deals with man, woman, real living beings. So, we need to make a decision. Which master to serve? The master of the living world or the master of the dead world? Because in the dead world, what you have is very simple. You don't have... Um, rights, you have privileges. privileges. So, this right here pertains to a system in where it's a triangle form, meaning those at the top get better privileges than those at the bottom. So, in this world right here, this is what you get. This right here is a different world. You get to make that choice. Peace.